So how do you build a multi-million dollar business selling a product that you can easily create in less than 30 seconds using ChatGPT 5? Well, I'll show you. So these are custom watercolor portraits, and the stores that sell them are making tens of thousands of dollars a month in profit. The way it works is extremely simple. Customers send in their pictures, and then the shop turns it into a beautiful custom hand-printed looking portrait. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that custom products carry a much higher price tag. This is because there is some extra work that you have to put in to create it. So these are not fully passive, however, the great news is that ChatGPT 5 actually takes care of most of that at work. So before we move on to creating these products, let me show you some numbers so you see what I mean. There are several stores selling these kinds of products on Etsy. Most of them focus on family portraits or wedding pictures, but they also do homes and vehicles. If you love your bike or your truck, for example, you can request a custom watercolor portrait of it to be sent to you either as a digital file or as a fully finished poster. But it doesn't end there. Stores also print these on mugs and even t-shirts, which makes sense if you think about it, especially when those custom portraits are made to commemorate a special location. So this store, for example, has made over 3.5 million in profit selling these. And as expected, some of their most successful products are custom watercolor pet portraits. It never ceases to amaze me just how much money customers are willing to pay for custom pet items. Each one of these makes this store more than $10,000 a month. And in case you're wondering, no, that is not revenue, that is mostly profit. Let me show you why. If we go to the actual shop on Etsy, you'll see that many of these have sold thousands of times. And check this out, $40.42 is the bare minimum this store charges for this product. But that's not the best part. That is not even for the actual physical printed portrait like the one on the image. No, that is just for the digital file of the picture. If you actually want the printed picture, the price jumps to $57 for the cheapest version, all the way up to $118 for the biggest frame. But that's not all. The store also charges for the number of people or pets on the picture, meaning $40 is the price if you have, let's say, just your dog. But if you want a picture of you and your partner, that's $70. And if you want to include your dog, then that's a hundred. Remember, just for the digital file. And if you wanted to make a portrait of your entire family and you wanted a detailed picture, that's $250. Now, when it comes to digital products, profit margins are substantially bigger than in the case of physical products. In fact, up to 90% of that is profit, meaning you could potentially take home $225 for every $250 sale. Now, here's something I should mention because I think it's fair to point it out. And it is also something you should take into consideration if you plan to start a business like this. This particular shop claims to paint the portraits by hand. So in a way, these are handmade products, which would definitely explain and justify the price tag. However, what's interesting to me is that they offer to sell the digital version of the pictures. I mean, just think about this. If you are the customer receiving the digital file, how could you possibly know if the image was actually painted by hand or not? That's where the method that I'm going to show you now comes in. Now, just in case you think this is an outlier, other shops like this one, for example, sell similar products and charge similar amounts. They they also give you the option to choose the amount of people and the type of product, digital or physical. And as you can see, the prices are relatively similar. Now, let's get into the fun part. How do we actually create something like this using ChatGPT 5? So the previous model was already good enough, but this one really took things to the next level. The sheer level of realism you can achieve now really makes this whole business not only viable, but potentially life-changing. The way it works is extremely simple. You go into ChatGPT and on the top left hand side corner, make sure the model 5 is selected. Then you simply upload your customer's picture, which for this example is going to be a random stock photo. You can then drag and drop the picture right into the chat and next, you want to describe what you want the AI to do. The things that you don't need to prompt anymore, you can simply describe what you want as you would in a normal conversation. So let's just be nice in case they take over in the future. So um, could you please create a watercolor hand-printed portrait of this image on a clear white background? I'm also going to include the watercolor painting as a reference so the AI knows exactly what kind of style I'm aiming for. In this case, we're going to borrow this image from this Etsy listing. And again, we simply drag and drop it into the chat alongside the customer's image. That's it. Now we hit enter and the AI will take just a few minutes to create the image. Now, take a look at that. That is just incredibly detailed and accurate. That's what I love about this model. The family in the picture is not only in the exact same pose, they're also wearing the exact same clothes as in the original picture and their faces look almost identical. But that's not all. Even though I asked for a clear white background, the AI was smart enough to include this portion of the fence which complements the picture perfectly given that we also have a horse in it. Let me just put them side by side 
side so you can judge the results by yourself. This is a much higher quality result than anything I've ever gotten from another AI engine when trying to create something similar. So let's try one more time and in this case let's do something different. Say we want to create a watercolor image of this car. So again the process is exactly the same. We're going to pretend this image is our customer's car and we're going to upload an Etsy listing image as a reference of the style we want to replicate. We describe the image same as before and we hit enter. Now take a look at that. I mean I could do this all day honestly. Now of course the possibilities are endless here. You could also do a house to commemorate the purchase of a first home or a pet which as we know are evergreen bestsellers. So as you see this new AI model really makes this process not only frictionless but also kind of fun. Now is it completely passive? I mean not really. You do have to repeat this process every time you make a sale. However as you can see it only takes 30 seconds and the AI does the rest. Now let me show you something really important because details matter. As you can see ChatGPT doesn't really give you too many options when it comes to downloading this image. So what I do is I simply right click on it and save it to my device. The image you download is usually 1024 by 1024 pixels. At 300 dpi, which is the highest printing quality, your image will be 3.4 by 3.4 inches, so not very big really. Now to make it bigger, I use this free AI image upscaler called AppScale.media. You simply drag and drop your image into the website, wait a few seconds for it to upload, and down here you can choose how big you want the image to be. In this case we're going to do a 4x upscale, which means that our picture will be 4000 by 4000 pixels. That'll give us a 13 by 13 inch image. We can also choose to enhance the quality of the image, which in this case we're not going to do because it says here that we might lose some details. So all that's left to do is click download image and that's it. If we open the downloaded image, we can see that it is in fact four times bigger than the one we got from ChatGPT. And if we zoom in, we can also see that the quality is just as great. Okay, so that's it. You're now ready to start selling your watercolor portraits as digital downloads with a 90% profit margin. But what if you want to sell them as physical products? Well, in that case, your profit margins will be a little lower, but you'll capitalize on people looking to buy the actual physical portrait, whether it be a canvas, a mug, or a t-shirt. So it really doesn't hurt to offer your customers that little extra. In that case, Case, you'll be using a print-on-demand provider to have it print your watercolor pictures onto mugs, shirts, or posters. You can use a platform like Printify or Printful, both of which offer a wide variety of white-label products. Let's say you want to offer a custom physical canvas. In that case, you can go to Printify, for example, and on your left-hand side, you'll find the catalog. Go into the Home and Living section and choose Canvas. Here, you'll find a wide selection of canvases in different sizes and configurations. Choose the one that you like and click on Start Designing. Drag and drop your portrait, and that's it. Mind you, if you go to the top right hand side of your screen, you can select the variants you want to offer. You can choose different frame colors and different sizes. Okay, so there you go. You now have the tools to set up your own custom portrait business. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or if you'd like me to create a dedicated video explaining any specific part of this process in more detail. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video and I'll see you guys next week.